Welcome back to our cabin. Today, Eric and I are continuing on with a project we had started last year and we finished part of it. And now today we're moving on to another section which is working on the stone hearth for behind our wood stove. So today we're gonna to be building a mantle for our fireplace and then filling in the backsplash with stone. The reason we wanna put something behind the stove is just to keep it a little bit more fire safe. When we first put the stove in, we did have a piece of metal roofing behind it. It was always supposed to be just temporary. It's gonna be a pretty much a mirror image of what we have now on the ground for the hearth pad, but up on the wall. So to do this, we first had to get some wood for the border of the mantle. And so for this wood, we decided to go down to Eric's parents' barn and look around and see if we could find anything that looked nice. And that's what we did for the wood on the floor section and we found a piece that was similar and we're going to clean up a little bit and use that for the top and the sides. So that's our project for today. Eric just took the wood, we measured it out to figure out how big we wanted it. He took it up to the shop to rip it in half with the table saw and get it cut to shape. Well, I'm going to go hunt outside for some rocks. So let's go see what we can find. We've had snow here in Canada already. It is winter for sure, but unfortunately for the snow, we had a big rainstorm come through about a week ago and took all of our snow away, which is pretty sad for Christmas. However, it made it so that I could see where the rocks are. So I thought we'd make the most of the time we have left without any snow and find the rocks we need to be able to do this before they get all buried in the snow for the season. There, I got the stone. So that's one drawback of trying to pick up rocks this time of year is that although there's no snow, it's still below freezing and they're frozen to the ground. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to use the crowbar probably to get them out and I'll probably let them warm up by the fireplace for a while to try to dry out any moisture from the rocks since they're a little bit of ice on them and things. And this is the kind of rock I'm looking for. One that's thin so that when it's on the wall, they all have a similar profile and none sticking out super far. So I'm gonna look for these ones that are like, I don't know, an inch thick, and see what I can find. Got one? Two? So our land is super rocky and when we had to dig out the foundation tubes for our cabin we realized there was a lot of rock and the bedrock's only a few feet down and so it was a little irritating to have such rocky soil when we were trying to dig the foundation but when we're trying to find rocks it makes it pretty easy so that's good. Look at the ice crystals on this one I just found. I was definitely need to let this one dry out. One 
so I found out what kind of wood it is. What kind of wood is it? You'll never guess it. Maple? No. Come see. It's walnut. It's walnut? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Isn't that crazy? It's beautiful. I would never have thought we had walnut in the barn. I wouldn't have thought so either. It's beautiful. I love it. It looks so nice. How do you know it's walnut? Well, I just know. You just know. From working at From working at a wood store. Yeah. <laughs> it's gorgeous, Eric. Well, that's exciting. We'll have a cool? walnut mantle. Outside. Yeah. I'm so excited. I can't believe how nice it is. I'm yeah, surprised. Your grandfather must have got it. I don't it. know where he got that from. So we'll set it directly on top of the one. So. Like this. Make it flush with you, the you want to cut it? Make sure your cut edges. Oh, on the inside. Flip it. Like this. I like it. There's a little character parts. So like I think it looks really nice. Yeah. and I can draw it, then I can just lay them out and then take a picture before we start to put them on the wall, eh? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Okay, there. Okay, just let me bring my level over. There. You need to drop 40.
we're back down at the cabin today. We had our morning chores around the homestead to do and get everyone fed. And now we're made back down to the cabin to continue working on our stone fireplace. And I thought I would bring with me today our thermometer. And this is usually in our cold room where we keep our root vegetables. But I wanted to see what the temperature was in the cabin. This is saying it's 17, I think I'm holding it. So I need to set it down and see what temperature it is in here. It is boxing day and here it is unseasonably warm. So it's above freezing outside and it's very rarely above freezing here in Canada in December. So we are going to do our mortar today because it's gonna work better when it's warm. We don't want the mortar to freeze before it dries or it might not set very well and it might crack and crumble. So what we're gonna do is we are going to see what temperature it is. We're probably gonna start a little fire. We'll have to be really careful putting the stones on behind the fireplace, but we think it's gonna keep it best and turn out best if we keep it warm. So we're gonna try our best to be careful and do that. And then we're gonna keep the fire going for probably 24 hours, even though we're not actually staying down in here, just so that it'll keep the cabin warm enough so that the mortar can dry properly and then we won't have any problems with it. So that's our plan. I'm gonna set this down, see what temperature it really is. It's not 22 degrees, that's for sure, but it definitely is warmer than it usually is. And uh, we're gonna get started on mixing up the mortar. So the temperature on the thermometer is holding now at 4.8 degrees Celsius, which is just above freezing. And we have our fire started. And so now we're gonna get on to putting the mortar together and getting it on. First, we're gonna take a picture of our layout of our stones because if we get started moving those around and I don't have a reference photo, I think I'll get confused on where my puzzle pieces go. So we're gonna do that and see how it turns out. Probably more than that. Yeah, I think so. Maybe start with that. Okay, let's You're gonna have to do the big ones because they're too heavy for me. That big one in the middle, we should probably do next. Yeah. But it's gonna be really hard because it's super heavy. I think you just have to eyeball the middle, I think. Yep. Yeah. Make it work. You climb the ladder there, cat? Oh, Eric, you better help him get down. He doesn't know how to do it. Here. Poor kitty. Good, 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 good. 
It doesn't drip yep. off. Perfect. Okay, well, I'm putting the small one on first here. Yeah, and then the big one. Pointing in long ways, yeah, I think like that somehow. Yeah, so the flat side's kind of over there. starting to get dark down here at the cabin and we have finally finished up putting all of the rocks into the stone hearth for our fireplace mantle and we're really happy with how it's turned out. Thanks so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing the rest of our cabin build come together, we'd love to have you subscribe and follow along with our journey. Have a great day and I'll see you on the next one.